Good afternoon, Colin. Colin, I we have a major uh, bus crisis problem at the moment with our students trying to get to school. And I've come into this house today because of the views that's been talked outside this chamber, but it needs to be said publicly now. The public see the government at the moment running in less than 50%. Myself personally, when the Tonish and Minister Harris uh, uh, Harris, at the start of this pandemic, I praise you for all the work that you're doing. And I compliment anyone that works hard and works for this country, and I praise you for that. At the time of a government, you were the only ones that came together to lead this country with Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael and the Greens. When Sinn Féin ran to the hills, Mary Lou Macdonald was sick with COVID, but the rest of the party disappeared and there was rewards out for them. All we are seeing on television at the moment is negative, negative, negative. You went into government with Fianna Fáil and the Greens to lead this country. You got the bus just off the top of the hill and you stopped it on an incline. You formed a government, we got up to the top of it and now we're going down at 100 miles an hour and we're coming to a 90 degree bend. The job of Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael and the Greens is to talk together with one voice. Not take yourselves apart and have pop shots on television. For to be popular. We canvassed for the rural pubs to open because it was the only place connectivity people could meet. Your own party didn't even know when you said, yes, I think the pub should open. And it was tweeted. Stop being populistic. Do the job that you that you signed up to do. Work with Fianna Fáil, work with the Greens, and lead this country. Sinn Féin will just, all the negative things, that's what they do. They find the negative things to do. They're not the only one in the opposition. The rural independents went to form a government which you didn't want us. I respect that. And I respect you when you do good. But this country now needs leadership, not populistic, not taking each other apart on television. We need you to lead and give people hope that we can straighten out this thing. This is only all spin. And we know that. And I'm from an opposition party, and I'm saying it myself. It's spin. And they have the money to do it. And they're destroying the name of Ireland by with all the spin that they're coming up with. I'm asking you and the other parties, come together and lead with one voice and lead this country. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Um, thanks very much, uh, Deputy. The government is is working as one uh, and has been uh, since the government was formed. Uh, you know, I appreciate that there are people who uh, don't want this government to last and people who are opposed to this government, and that doesn't include you, but includes others. Uh, and of course, they will do their best uh, to uh, stoke up, uh, invent, and exaggerate any di any differences that may occur uh, between different po politicians and different parties. Um, I remember very well during the. Uh, height of the Brexit uh, struggle when uh, people would go out of their way to ask me a question, ask Simon Coveney a slightly different question, and when we gave a slightly different answer, uh, apparently we were supposed to be at war over Brexit, and that was always rubbish. Um, and uh, I see a certain element of that uh, narrative now being um, promoted uh, by our opponents um, and by uh, other people uh, when it comes to this government. Um, I have no idea what you mean by taking each other apart on television. I haven't witness that. If you want to give an example, I'd be interested to hear it. Uh, and um, and in relation to um, in relation to, to the pubs, uh, the rural pubs are going to be allowed to open on Monday. Uh, I think that's a welcome development. I know it's something that you campaigned for uh, and something you fought for. We are putting a lot of trust in our publicans uh, to make sure that they uh, do it safely, that people are socially distanced. Uh, but I have confidence in them to do that. Uh, and I believe uh, that they'll be able to lead the way uh, and show what can be done. Uh, and that will hopefully allow uh, us to follow suit in Dublin uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Um, what I said to my parliamentary party, uh, which of course, uh, I, I'm sorry, wasn't webcast by the way, what I said to my parliamentary party uh, was that I believe that uh, rural pubs should be allowed to open, uh, that um, they should be given a chance to do so, um, and that the government was working on a plan to do exactly that, and we were, and the Taoiseach felt the same. Never suggested that there was a difference between us on it, there wasn't, others did. But what's their agenda? Thank you. 
The public view at the moment is that we're going downhill at 100 miles an hour. It sees uh, Michal Martin driving the bus. It sees you as um, sidetracking, trying to make him skid off the bus. And it sees Eamon Ryan asleep in the back. That's what they're looking at. That is what they're coming out looking at. I said it already, the spin, the rewards were out for Sinn Féin, etc. To me, they're only here to dissolve this government. People are suffering. We need one voice for, to help people in this country. They can feel all the spin that they like, but all they're doing is damaging this country from getting back to where it needs to be to help the people that are there. They go with their food parcels and take pictures. That's what they do. And they have the money to put it out in the media and show up the wrong spin. Mary Lou MacDonald was in RT the other day when this house came to a stop. She was there before it stopped, to be on the television. To negative, negative, negative. We want positive. We want to work, we want to go forward and represent the people in this country and, and slow this bus down so we can actually get around this bend and keep everyone safe. This whole government is on this bus Remarkable. and you're leading it. Remarkable. Please. Remarkable. Yeah, thanks. Um, th thanks very much, Deputy. I, I, I appreciate where you're coming from uh, and I understand your, your, your sentiments. Um, what you're going to hear and what I believe you are hearing from this government uh, is one message, uh, one that we've agreed collectively as a government and you'll hear lots of different voices um, explaining that message. And that's what I think you've seen in the last couple of days. Uh, we agreed and published uh, on Tuesday uh, a government plan to deal with COVID for the next six to nine months. Uh, and you would have seen um, ministers and TDs from Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael out there explaining and defending that plan. Uh, and that's exactly what we've done. The opposition did something different. Uh, the opposition decided to try to pick holes in it. Uh, to undermine it, uh, thereby undermining the public health message more generally. What you saw from us, I think, was absolute unity from the parties in government going out there, defending that plan, saying it's ours, not disowning it in any way. Uh, and I think that's what you'll see more over the next couple of weeks. Thank you.